Hello friends, fellow workout enthusiasts and uh, subjects of a machine master like I am. Today I picked this up at the uh, local Best Buy store. It's uh, the Garmin v Vivo Smart HR. This is the one that has the heart rate monitor built in, so you don't need to use a chest strap. Thought I'd uh, let you experience with me unboxing it, setting it up on my phone, and uh, seeing what we can do with it. So let's get started. I'll start by opening it, of course. Here's the uh, charger component of it. USB, of course. The instruction manual, I'm sure we'll look through that quite soon. Over here we have the device itself, of course. So we'll take that off and we'll see if we can figure out how to undo this strap daily bob here. Actually, let's take this out. Maybe that will make it easier. We'll take that out. Now we can just pull it through. Like that. There we go. So, it's got a little cover on it, of course, making it look like it might be on. It's not on. And we can take the strap open. There's the heart rate monitor right there. So that is, uh, it's a light-based system. This um, does actually come out. Not really sure how you do that, as I haven't worked with this one yet. But uh, you can take it off the strap, and I believe that's how you charge it, is uh, by removing it from the strap. So perhaps we'll look at the instruction manual and figure that out. In the meantime, I'm going to put it on a charger, and... Uh, We'll go through the process of setting it up on the phone when uh, it's charged, and I've got it figured out a little bit. Okay, so the Vivo Smart HR is charging, and in the meantime, I thought, why not go ahead and uh, s install the software on the BlackBerry Passport? So let's see if we can get that done. We're going to use uh, Snap, because this is an Android app, of course. There's other ways you can find Android apps, but I've got this installed, so we'll go ahead and use that. So we're going to search, which is down here, of course. And it's going to be Garmin um, Connect. So Garmin Connect is our search term. Go ahead and hit enter and see what we find. There it is. So we'll download that. Okay. It's downloading, of course. You can see the uh, bar going across the top there. So for our British friends, I see there it says that it's added stone as an option for uh, mass measurement units. The uh, scale, if you have the um, index um, scale, it uh, index smart scale, it has a switch to do stone on the bottom of it. I noticed that since I got the scale. So anyway, let's open the installer. And, uh, of course, this is a BlackBerry uh, component. So what it's going to do is it's uh, it has inspected. I don't know if you can read that. I'll try to get it a little bit closer. It's inspected the app to make sure that it um, doesn't contain any malware. And it uh, has done it, and it feels good about it. So let's go ahead and do the install. Come on. There it goes. Alright, so here's the um, 
permissions it wants. It doesn't need all this stuff, of course, but this is typical of Android. It makes you give it a lot more than it actually needs. So it's asking for shared files. Well, that it does need. That's okay. Location it doesn't actually need on the BlackBerry. Um, device identifying information. I can't see why it needs that. It doesn't need... Well, it needs phone for notification, so that's all right, I guess. Contacts, uh, I don't see why it needs that. Camera, it doesn't, definitely doesn't need. So, but it makes you accept all this stuff, and uh, if you're not willing to accept it, then don't run this app. It's as simple as that. So, it's uh, finishing the install now, of course. Alright, so it's finished. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't really need to have that open. So here's Connect down here. Now I have not run an Android app on this phone since it was booted up. So it may take it a few minutes to load up the Android runtime and everything. So if it takes too long, we'll pause the video and come back to it. And yeah, there it goes. That's not too bad. So now it's asking me if I want to create an account or sign in. Now I already have an account, so let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign that in. So we'll just leave the video here um, while I do that. It's asking me if I agree to the uh, privacy policy. I'm obviously going to agree to it. I'm going to sign in. All right, I'm signing in. Um, all right, so this is interesting. It is asking me for Google Play services, which of course I can't run on this phone. But the good news is, at least for this version, you can just tap the screen and it should go on by it. It did. So it's asking me if I have a device. Well, I'm not ready to do the device right now. So I'm going to say no, I don't. Uh, no, go to the app. All right. We'll do the device later. That's pretty easy. So it's just taking me through the sort of how you use it junk. I've actually been using this thing, this app, for a while, so I know how to do it. All right, so it has a um, what they call a My Day. It's kind of a, a um, dashboard type thing. And these are all the options that you can have on your uh, for pages on your My Day. Um, I'm not going to be doing... Um, any running, cycling, swimming for on this um, device, so we can just turn those off and we'll go ahead and do next. So it's now showing me what choices I've left and these little guys over here on the right allow me to change the order if I want to. I'll leave it like that for now, that's fine. So snapshot customization is complete, we can f click finish there. So now it's got uh, some information. Um, this is actually my day today. Uh, it's showing how many steps I've done. 10,750. Slept for 6 hours and 58 minutes. You don't care about that. But that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I've actually found... Okay, so it's actually on the zoomed out. You can change it to uh, that one if you want. It's a little bit bigger. But I've found that using this app on a passport. It's actually better to use that option. So we are now ready to go ahead and install the device. I'm uh, going to stop the video here in a moment to do that. Uh, I do want to tell you though that you cannot, you do not remove the um, the device from the strap to charge it. I made that mistake in the earlier video, in the earlier section of this video. So you don't do that. You can take it out of the strap to change straps if you want different colors. But um, you don't have to take it out to charge it. So uh, I'll be back to you shortly. Okay, here we are. It's uh, charged. We're going to go ahead and power it up. Press this little button over here on the side. It powers up. Okay, English language is good. So asking do I want to pair with a smartphone so let's prepare the smartphone for that process 
So here we are with the uh, passport again. Try and get that in focus a little bit. We'll go over and run connect right there. So in order to uh, pair with this device, because we didn't do it when uh, initially, we're going to pull that down, slide down to Garmin devices right there. It shows the ones that it knows about. And we're going to click the plus right there. And then go down to the Vivo. And the Vivo Smart HR is down here at the bottom. Now when I press that, it's going to show some information that is private. So I'm going to move the phone for a second. And then I'm going to hit the next button. Alright, so what it's doing is it's asking me to prepare the device. So now it's um, saying, do you want to pair with the smartphone? And I'm going to click the check right there. So they should now talk to each other. Uh, I need timed out, so I have to do it again. There it goes. It found it. So now this number needs to be put into the computer. So I'll do that over here. So number um, 749092. We'll go ahead and say that's done. Show details. And what it's doing is, uh, so I'm going to switch it over to use the HR right there from the other device. And it's doing the pairing process. So there's not really much to see. The, uh, I'm going to just click the check and it's going to go to normal mode and uh, we are now paired so basically it's going to go through a little bit of additional setup information it wants to know what orientation I want to use it in and that one's fine so I'm going to save that now it's um, syncing for the first time there's probably not much information to get but it's uh, Looks like they're connected and it's ready to start using it. So let's go back over here and it's all set up and ready to go. And there it is. I'm going to put it on and uh, start using it.